Welcome back everyone to Cast Iron Skillet Kitchen. I'm Chef John. I'm Rebecca. And this is going to be Chef John's quick tip today slash review. What are we reviewing? We are reviewing this lovely multi-purpose Herosity coffee bean grinder and it grinds coffee beans and so much more. So This does so much more as Rebecca said. This has a, we have two electric ones. One we do coffee and one we do um, spices in because we don't want the spices in her to mingle with the coffee flavor when I grind my coffee grinds. This handheld one is so much better because you can do both because you can actually take it all the way down apart to clean it and put it back together so you're not blending those flavors in there so it does have an advantage over the electric one. So right, I have here. disassembled this for you so before it has two containers and then also comes with the lid that you can put on it. This comes with a ceramic burr and even on the insides of the burr. That's what I'm saying, man. You can clean this thing real easy. Just take it over to the sink, clean it up, put it back together. It's so simple. So if you want to buy one of these from Amazon, uh, I think we'll have a code or something down at the bottom of the show more. Man, look here. You just slip that in there like that. It has a little washer. goes on top. And this right here is your, um, this tightens and loosens up or adjusts, adjusts your uh, grinds. And this is a little thread. It goes on there and you screw it all the way down. It's, just, it's fine grind, very fine. And I did grind it and it's fine enough to go ahead and um, make coffees. It'll dissolve, it's that fine. This right here, this locks it in place to whatever grind you decide to make. And you just have to line it up with the little grooves in it and it slides right down in there and then you can have this on there or you can leave this off and see what's going on while you're grinding but this actually goes on top your handle goes on there just like that and then you have your nut that puts it in place screw it in so there's your whole hopper section Here's your glass jar. It comes with a removable skid on the bottom. This comes off, slides right back on there. So that way you don't slide around. And then this actually screws on to the top so you're not just holding it. So you get a good hold and you get a good grind. Was it, you see how fast I put that together? And cleaning is just- We're gonna make a little spice real quick. And we're gonna use this in another recipe later on, so stay tuned. But I do have some coffee beans, and I have a mixture of spices here, with salt, pepper, garlic, um, onion. What? A, yeah, I have minced onion, onion, minced onion, uh, or yeah. And we have some uh, celery, dehydrated celery. I got a little bit of our orange dust in there. So, but see how fine, and this is different texture stuff. We need to break this down a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna break it down to its finest so it'll dissolve and it's edible at that point. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the grinder. Very simple, just take this off. And you can look right down in there as you set this thing. So you turn it counterclockwise to open it up and we're just gonna open it up. You don't go, you don't have to go much. And you can see where you're, where you're at. Just if that's where you want it, you put that back down on there. Put the handle back on there and tighten her down. Guys, it's that quick. But if you just want to do coffee, and if you want the fine grind, I would bust it down a little bit, get it a little smaller and then, then go hit that fine grind. Then, like I said, you don't have to put the lid on. This is the, the grind that you would probably use in your coffee maker, but we're gonna use this for a rub. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of powdery, but it's still gritty. It's still gritty. Okay, this has some little bigger pieces and stuff. So I'm just gonna run this through the same grind that I ran the coffee through. 
and then we're gonna run it one more time to get it good and fine. Only time this splashes out, I found out, is right when you get near the bottom. But you can leave that off, you get near the bottom, you can slide it on there to see what you got. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this, and then we're gonna do a final grind at the uh, very okay, final. Okay, here's my grind, it's all the same size now. So we're gonna set it to the finest grind and make a good rub out of this. So we're gonna just go ahead and pour it back in here. And I will tell you, the seasonings went a lot faster than the coffee because the coffee is a harder grind, it is a bigger bean. But being at this size, this all should go through there pretty quick. It smells so good. The aroma, you can smell, once it cracked all that dehydrated stuff up and made it fresh, oh my goodness. Rebecca's over there wanting coffee and she don't even drink coffee. That's true. So Chef John fully demonstrated this great product. It's uh, once again, Porosity coffee bean grinder and it is a manual grinder. We've never used one before, but we're gonna be using this one a lot and I think you'll like it too. We're gonna to leave a link down below. Um, thank you for joining us. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Leave us a comment, tell us how you like grinding your coffee and making your rubs. Uh, share, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. But most important of all, you guys come on back. Go check this product, product out, on, out Amazon. on Amazon. We'll leave a link.